<laughs> okay, hi everyone. Uh, so my name is Shuang and this is Joseph. And we'll be doing a, <laughs> no, okay, we'll be doing a combined set for today. So there will be poetry, there will be music, and if you guys know the song, you can feel free to sing along. So the first poem song thing that we're gonna do is titled An Informal Dissertation of Falling in Love. And we have borrowed music from Brian McKnight's Back at One. So if you know how to sing that, you can sing along with Joseph, who will be providing the music and the voice. Make you fall in love with me If ever I believe my work is done Then I start back at one Stage one is the worst one See, eggs are the absolute worst Small enough for you to swallow without noticing Large enough to grow into something You will eventually notice Damn it Easy to slip into a drink, a text, a smile, I mean... This is exactly why the government is so antsy about infection and contraction and prevention. It's the eggs. They get you in trouble every time. One, you like a dream come true. Two, just wanna be with you. Let's be honest, stage two is kind of gross. If all goes well or not well, depending on how you look at it, the eggs hatch. They explode open in your stomach like pearls in your bubble tea, except instead of delicious tapioca joy, you get caterpillars. Green, gooey Ugh. caterpillars crawling around your belly and making it feel all funny. You start thinking a bit too much. What did he mean when he said he was surprised to see you here? Was it the good kind of surprise? Like getting $500 in your ang pao? Or the bad kind of surprise? Like walking into a surprise birthday party when you just got in dumped and honestly, all you wanted to do was watch Titanic and cry into a pint of Ben & Jerry's. What was with that smile she gave me? Wait, what was with that smile she gave Greg from accounting? Oh, oh my, my god, god they're, they're totally banging! <laughs> Three, girl, it's plain to see that you're the only one for me. Stage three is dormant, which sounds safe, except if you watch enough horror movies, you know that it's not a good sign if things are too quiet for some time. I mean, it's life. It's your love life when nothing good ever happens and you can delude yourself into thinking it's just a silly crush or heartburn from indigestion or the consequences of watching Bridget Johnson's diary last night you're not in love this will all go away your plants just really like to rip holes in their leaves for you know fashion these are not the caterpillars you are looking for Four, repeat steps one through three, five, make you fall in love with me. Is that the cocoons burst open, and now your stomach's like a party for butterflies who have somehow all taken five tequila shots each and are alternating between bouncing around and throwing up on the floor of your stomach. And let's be real, the worst part of falling in love is how good it can get. I mean, that's the part you can't quit, right? The flutter in the base of your throat when your hands accidentally collide. The tremble in your knees when you accidentally bump into each other at the water cooler. How good it feels when your phone lights up and it's, it's them, them, it's them, them it's, it's them. Them. And maybe it works out. Maybe your butterflies find a home in the butterfly garden, in a zoo or Changi Airport and live happily ever after. But sometimes, many times, it doesn't. And then, what do you do? What do you do when winter comes, when every little blue tick feels like a cold blue emergency? When every time you cough into your head, you feel the beat of crushed wings in your palm? The answer, of course, is... Start back at one.